It's never too late to right a wrong. Rewind to Maryland football way back in 1937 when segregation in the South was still very much alive. That season, the Terrapins refused to face Syracuse here in Maryland unless the Orange men benched their top player. And they did. 76 years later, Maryland has finally made amends. In January 2012, Kumea Shorter Gooden assumed the position of Chief Diversity Officer at her alma mater, the University of Maryland. Just a year into her tenure, she heard an amazing story. I actually was hosting a Christmas party last winter uh, and had cousins and family and friends and colleagues over. And my cousin Lynn, I started talking with him and said, well, you, you know, obviously I'm back at Maryland. And he said, you know, that, that's great, Kumea, but do you know about Wilmoth? Kumea's cousin showed her a 2008 story in the Washington City paper about another member of their family, Wilmoth Sadat Singh. Wilmoth Sadat Singh grew up in Washington, D.C., uh, born in 1918. His father died when he was about seven. Uh, Wilmoth is African American, and his mother remarried someone who was South Asian Indian, thus the last name Sadat Singh. Wilmoth was a star athlete, finally started playing football at Syracuse in the mid-30s. Syracuse was about to play Maryland, here in Maryland, in 1937. The D.C. press ran a story where a reporter said that Wilmoth is black, and isn't that interesting that he's going to be playing the University of Maryland that doesn't accept black students? The University of Maryland said, oh no, and told Syracuse that if Wilmoth is fielded, no game. Syracuse benched Wilmoth. Such a decision seems unimaginable now, but the 1930s were a different time. This was a southern state, and in the 30s we were still living with Jim Crow and segregation, and black students were not allowed to attend the University of Maryland. The first black students at University of Maryland were in 1951, and so that was the context. The last sentence of the City Paper article resonated with Kumea. It read, and the family has yet to hear from the University of Maryland. And so Kumea reached out to Maryland Athletics Director Kevin Anderson. It just so happened Syracuse was on the football schedule as a new member of the ACC. Finally, an injustice from so long ago would be righted. In November 2013, Wilmoth's family gathered at the game, and between the first and second quarters, Anderson and Daryl Hill, Maryland's first African-American football player, presented the Wilmoth family with a wounded warrior jersey to a rousing ovation from the crowd. It was a very festive atmosphere, and a real sense that uh, it's never too late to correct an injustice. The tribute of the special jersey was particularly fitting because Wilmoth had served in what's become known as the Tuskegee Airmen, where he died in a training accident in Michigan at just 25 years old. For Kumea and Wilmoth's family, the day carried strong emotional meaning. I think this is really important, not just for Wilmoth's family, but also for the broader community of African-Americans, people who grew up during the time of Jim Crow, this honoring of Wilmoth is important because his struggle and the injustices that he faced, while more public and obvious and egregious perhaps than those that others may have faced, it's really emblematic of the racism that uh, blacks in the community experienced for many decades. Today, the University of Maryland is a leader in the areas of diversity, equity, and inclusion. A lot has changed. Over the decades, Maryland has done a lot to become an institution quite different from the one that Wilmoth encountered. We have a very diverse student population. 35% of our undergraduates are students of color. We have a faculty and staff that are diverse. We provide an opportunity for students from all groups, regardless of their ethnicity, their sexual orientation, their ability, their socioeconomic status, their religion to engage with others, to learn from others, so that they are really prepared to leave the campus and to serve a diverse, dynamic world.